Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. We'll take one more example. The question says a vessel is in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder. The diameter of hemisphere is 14 cm and the total height of vessel is 13 cm. We have to find the inner surface area. Please note this is inner here inner surface area on the vessel. So this is my typical diagram. How? If you see this, the question says a hollow hemisphere. So this is my hollow hemisphere, correct? Mounted by a hollow cylinder. This is a hollow cylinder. So this is, I will draw like this. This is my cylinder. This is my cylinder, correct? And this is my hemisphere. The question says the diameter of hemisphere is 14 cm. This is 14 cm. Diameter is 14, the radius will be 7. This is 7 cm. Correct. Total height of the vessel is 13. So if this guy is 7, this guy is 7. So this guy will be 17, 13 minus 7. And this guy is now 6. See what I have I found everything now. See, for a uh, cylinder, I need radius and height. So radius I know for cylinder is 7 and the height is 6. For hemisphere, I need only radius. So I know the radius of the hemisphere. Now I can find it. I can find the surface area, I can find the volume, anything I can find. Just understand. The question says height was 17. So from a total height, I knew the height of this hemisphere is 7. So I subtracted this 7 thing because this guy is 7. And this guy will be 13 minus 7. Correct? Because the whole thing is 13. So I got this as 6 cm. So the first thing that should come to our mind is understand the question properly, draw the diagram, and then put all the values. Find radius, height, everything. So now what I have done? I have everything. So for cylinder, R is equal to 7 and h is equal to 6. Correct? And for hemisphere, r is equal to 7. This data we got. So this is most crucial part actually. So once you have the height of, uh, once you have all the data, radius, height of the figures, then we start our problem. The question says we have to find the inner surface area of the vessel. So as I have told, you can break this figure into hemisphere and cylinder. Let me break this now for So if I break this, this figure becomes this is my cylinder. And this is my hemisphere. So I can break this into two parts. Correct. So I will have to find surface area. So surface area of vessel, you see, that is nothing but surface area of hemisphere. plus surface area of cylinder. See, in case of surface area, if there is a common area, we subtract. So in this case, there is no common area, there is no overlapping area. So we don't need to subtract. We will we'll see this in the next two examples. So for surface area, you have to be little cautious. So in this case, there is no overlapping area. So the total surface area is surface area of sphere plus surface area of cylinder. That we can see because this is a cylinder, this is a sphere. And for this, we can write the dimensions. This is 6, this is 7, and this is 7. So, surface area of hemisphere, we know, is nothing but 2 pi rh. This is the formula we have learned in the past class. Surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi rh. Surface area of sphere is 4 pi rh. Sorry, surface area of uh, Hemisphere is 2 pi r square. 2 pi r square. Surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square. Plus surface area of cylinder. Surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h. See, this is easy to remember also. 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle. You take the circle, you extend the height. 
it comes 2 pi Rh. So this is the surface area of the cylinder. Correct? This 2 pi R is the circumference of the circle here. And in this circle, we extend the height. So you get 2 pi R into H. So 2 pi Rh becomes surface area of cylinder. And 2 pi R square is surface area of hemisphere. We'll just put the values here. So this becomes 2 into 22 by 7 into R is 7 into 7 plus 2 into 22 by 7 into R is 7 and H is 6. Correct? This gets cancelled. So what we get here? 44 camel here. 44 into 7 plus 6 that is 44 into 13 and if you solve this further you get 572. Now we are talking about surface area and we are talking about centimeters. So we will say centimeter square. This is the unit. Please don't forget to mention the unit that is critical here. Since we are talking about uh, hemisphere surface area, surface area, so it is centimeter square. Very simple what we have done here. We drew the figure, we have broken this figure into hemisphere and uh, cylinder found the surface area of hemisphere so found the area of cylinder and then arrows. let's take one more example a toy is in the form of the cone shape of radius 3.5 centimeter mounted on a hemisphere of same radius the total height of the toy is 15.5 we have to find total surface area there. similar to same question instead of cylinder it is a cone here so this is the toy we are talking about and in this toy if you see the radius is this guy is 3.5 cm so this guy is also 3.5 cm correct total height is 15.5 so this guy will become 12 right because total height is 15.5 from that you subtract 3.5 you get 12 correct See, this guy is 16.5, this guy is 3.5, so this guy has to be 12, 3.5 minus 12, so this guy is 12. So what we should know, for cone, we should know R, R we know is 3.5, H, H is 12. So we know everything about cone. For hemisphere, we should know R. And R is 3.5. So we know all the values. First part is done. Correct? We drew the diagram properly and we know the units. We know the values of radius height. Now we have to find total surface area of the toy. So again, same thing. Surface area of toy will be equal to surface area of cone plus surface area of hemisphere. Why? If you see this also, this is created using two power. Let me draw this again. This is my cone and this is my hemisphere. So if you break this figure, this is exactly what we are talking about. And this is 12, right? And this radius we know is 3.5. So we have broken this cone into this two part. And this is the basic part because we know the volume and surface area of cone, we know the volume and surface area of sphere. So we can find the total volume. But it was difficult for us to find the total value of this figure. Now surface area of cone is pi r l, where l is the latent height, we know this. And surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square. L is something which we don't know. So let's find the value of L. L is the latent height, we know. This is the latent height. So if you see in this triangle, we will find the L here. If you see this triangle, you get this triangle here. This is L, which you have to find. This is, this is height, that is 12. And this is radius that is 3.5 and this is a 
right triangle. You can see this. This is how it is. So L is nothing but root of h square plus r square. Because in this triangle also, if you see, this is L, this is h, and this is r. So you get this right triangle. So L is nothing but root of h square plus r square using Pythagoras theorem. We we'll put the values here. So this becomes root of twelve square plus three point five is seven by two square. So expand this further, you get one forty four plus forty nine by four. Further, you get four common one forty four into four is five seventy six plus forty. This becomes root of six twenty five by four, and this becomes twenty five by. So L is twenty five by two. So I'll put the values here now. Pi is twenty two by seven. R is seven by two. L is twenty five by two. Plus two into pi is twenty two by seven. R is seven by two. Seven by two. Correct. So if you solve this, this becomes one thirty seven point five, and this becomes seventy seven. And this is cancelled. This guy is cancelled, and this guy seventy seven, and this becomes one thirty seven point five. This is cancelled. This becomes eleven. So twenty five into eleven is this by. So we solve this further. This becomes two one four point five. Now, since we are talking about surface area and this is in centimeter, so this will be centimeter square, and that is the answer. So I found total area of the toy to be two one four point five centimeter square. And how I found surface area? Total surface area. I found surface area of the cone. I found surface of the of the hemisphere, and then added this. To get surface area of the toy. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.